Hello. Hello. This is Nathan. And I'm Victoria. Yeah, a little, little delay there. We didn't practice <laughs> that. All right. Um, so this is part two of the Mod Pack Showcase. Whereas again, just like last time, we are in the server world with our tree houses and slime trees on top of trees. Inception. Not really. Okay. Um, so I'd like to first apologize for the last video. I forgot to do a test recording to see the frame rate of the recording, and it was kind of bad through the whole thing. So there's that. Um, but this one, we did a test recording, and it seems to be doing all right. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, all right, so on this one, the last one we tried to show a lot of the little mods, a lot of the non-popular mods. This time we're going to start off with that big elephant in the sky. Uh, that is... It's a ball. It's a ball, yes. It's a ball. Let's go, Victoria. Down the hole. Eh. Boosh. Wrong hole. Oh, come on. There's only one I hole. I didn't go down That's, the hole. It closed. Hole. It's closed. Hit the uh. button. Hit the button and go down the hole. Nope. All right, just fly down. I want to go down the hole. But you don't get to. Uh, oh, the hole! Yep. <laughs> Those padding blocks keep him safe. Yep. Uh, so, Boing. Uh, if you remember from last time, we used lasers. We used the laser mod to pull us up. Uh, this is act, uh, working on... Uh, MFFS, that's the Modular Force Field System. And this is not the one from IC2. This is the one made by the other guy. This is the more awesome one. So it deletes those blocks, and then lasers pull us up. The force. The force of lasers is pulling us up. Isn't it majestic? And those are red. Those are lasers that are Hello. shooting up right now. Hello. Hi. Yeah, those are lasers that are shooting up right now. So that's what they look like when they're not invisible, and they only go up so high. Uh, so, we're about to enter the Mysticraft Sphere of Awesomeness. And we just crossed some lasers and from security... Oh! Did I do it too fast? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, just just come in. I'll break some blocks. Just come in. on the, Underneath. Exactly where the hole was. There you go. There you go. Alright. So, these are from Security Craft. Uh, they, as soon as the entity or mob passes them, they emit a redstone signal. And so that, then I have some wireless redstone to uh, transfer that in here to trigger to some force field projectors that have duplicators on them. So they stabilize the force field into actual blocks. And since they have infinite amounts of blocks because of those duplicators from Imulus, they just keep going. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's kind of cheating, but it's just our world here. It's fine. No probs. Uh, so all of this in here, all of the stuff we stand on in here is constructed with modular force fields. So all of it, if you break any of it, it will come back. Like break that, magic. It comes back. Like magic. Break the glass. It comes back. Like magic. Yeah. Isn't it just wonderful? Uh, so it's magical. We've got a writing desk here. We've got ink mixer. We've got a book binder and a link modifier, which is actually not supposed to have that. I learned that later. And this was a nifty thing. If you use an ender chest uh, the from ender storage from the chicken mod thingy, uh, you can put all your linking books and some writing materials in here. And so that wherever you go, you could plop one of those chests down and have everything you need to get out or make a new age. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, so I use portals and linking books and stuff. So first, we're going to hop into something that I referenced from yes last time, which was actually yesterday, which is cool. Uh, it was my power source, my one of my main power sources for the f factory, and that is a giant lava lake. So, Victoria, come here to this red one. It's red because of lava and stuff. I made it that way. Because yeah. uh, you can put the book in multiple times to change the color. Boosh! Whee! All right, so we are currently in a Mysticraft age where all water has been replaced with lava. And so oh, I yeah. have, and there's actually two suns that go across the sky, so we have solar generation almost all the time, and we have a little battery in there to power some buildcraft pumps to get lava. There are eight buildcraft pumps, and they're all sucking this lake dry. 
seriously, their reach is magnificent. Look at that. It's intense. So intense, tense, 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 tense. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I forgot I turned this off last time. This is the better grass and leaves mod. I currently don't have the better leaves on. I have the better grass on though. The better leaf gets a little laggy and oh hey look coral. That's also in that mod. So it's an aesthetic mod. I will be doing one full showcase dedicated to uh, just the aesthetic mod. So you'll notice I don't have shaders on right now. It's because uh, the full mod pack running shaders at the same time, it's my computer can't handle it. If you have a more awesome computer, you probably can. But my computer can't handle it. So it's still in there. If you choose to use it, it's still in there. But I'm not using it right now. Uh, so we can then either travel back to the overworld, back to where we came from. There's also a light bridge to take us over there with railings. Yeah. A little advanced. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or we can head to one of the other Mr. Craft Ages on here for the fun of it. What I did with this, this is Whoa. a nifty little trick. If you know Oprize LP, you'll know about his mod tool. Uh, it allows you to take um, Xbox Minecraft maps and put them to PC. So this is a map that's actually created on the Xbox and brought to PC. The Xbox 360. Yeah, the Xbox 360. Uh, so I take a Mr. Craft Age, I make a blank Mr. Craft Age, and then I use MC Edit to copy and paste that Minecraft world into this age. And put a little one chunk boundary around the whole thing so that like if you have uh, instability or whatnot going on over there it doesn't infect your Xbox world and you can use light bridges to bridge the gap which is really cool and stuff which that's just a test thing this is the actual thing this was a really nifty bit of engineering I did here um, you can press this button on either side and it will give you a tunnel across the void and there's actually, this over here is a light rail that will do minecarts straight across it. There's a detector right behind it. Detector rail, I don't know if you... That will detect that there's a minecart coming, so you can just come straight down. The detector rail will trigger, do all that crap, trigger this thing, and you'll go straight across. And there's another detector on the other side for going the other way. So that's how I bridge the gap between the two worlds. This is, of course, a bedrock mine. Just a little bedrock mine that we did in the Xbox world. Uh, where's the hole? Where's the, the hole? hole. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, this is the hole. It's the hole. I wanted to make it look like a meteor came through and would explode. I thought it was cool. Uh, so, yeah, in Mistcraft, you can make some pretty uh, overworld-like places. And secondly... I'll show you something I like here. This is Flans mod. So we've got a wraith here from something. I, I forget. I think it's um, Victoria. Help me out. I don't know. I forgot. Is this Bosscraft? Yeah, Bosscraft. Yeah, Bosscraft. That makes sense. Um, they're kind of irritating because he turns invisible, but I killed him in one shot because I have a sniper rifle and that's awesome. It's it's not all that good on accuracy, but my favorite gun is probably this one. And I noticed that uh, Flans mod really doesn't get showed in a lot of mod packs because it has. Such oh, you probably can't hear me over that shooting. This is really loud, isn't it? I'm going to turn that down. Sounds down, please. Thank you. Thanks, Scorpion guy. Okay, so. I haven't seen Flans mod in a lot of mod packs because it does cause a lot of incompatibility. And in my mod, there is a bit. Uh, a lot of the vehicles don't work. Uh, a few of the rockets don't work. They will crash the game if you use them. Same with the vehicles. You crash the game if you use them. Uh, but you can, pretty easily, you can pretty easily figure that out. After the first couple tries. And it doesn't really damage your world or the game if you use them. You can just come back in and break the, break the vehicle and everything's fine. You just have to restart Minecraft to do that. Hi, Victoria. Where have you been? Around. You haven't been messing with anything, have no, you? No. 
I accidentally went through the portal. Oh. And I had to get myself back. Yes, yes, that that can sometimes happen. Yeah, All right, happens, so yo. what's this one go to? That goes the lava lake pump, where we were, and this Corona Tsurugi. That's another one. Victoria, we're gonna use the left one, okay? Okay. All righty. This is another one of my worlds that I did. Oh, the purple. Oh, the purple. That's one of the problems with the Mr. Craft Age. Because uh, this is an Xbox world, and there's no purple grass in Xbox. No, there's not. So if I hit 7 here, let me remove that. Yeah. He's having a little bit of time chunk loading because my computer's slow. Uh, so this is another one. This is like a Let's Play world we had together. Uh, lots of rail systems going on with this thing. This is quite the achievement. This like runs like circuit board throughout the entire world to go to all the different Let's Plays and Let's Builds that we have together. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the Void Rifle. Uh, I think I invented it. I don't know if somebody else tried it before me. Uh, this works in Xbox. It's basically a giant TNT cannon. And that's supposed to be water. Um, it literally, you can reload it, you push a button, a bunch of redstone happens, TNT falls down, it shoves you in at the precise moment right before it's going to fire, and you fly out of this thing at ridiculous speeds. You go straight up, out, and into the void. And at night, it looks like you're in space. You cannot see anything around you. You're in space. Space! I'm in space. <laughs> oh, portal. I'm in space. Yeah, and so you go up above the cloud layer, and then you can get caught by these webs, and then go and to the floating house. Space! It's pretty cool. And yes, there's a way down, which is not that. Sorry. There's uh, holes in that thing up there to get down here, and these are really deep. They will catch you. Uh, why am I talking about my world? We need to get back to the mod pack. Alright, back through the portal, Victoria. Victoria. Come on. Come on. Into the portal. Into the portal. Into the portal. Uh, another nifty thing you can do with Mysticraft, which uh, I didn't show here and I don't think we have time to show, uh, is... Victoria, get down to the hole, quick. Now. Hurry. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you're going to have to push the purple button. Oh, you were too late. You're going to have to push the purple button to get out. This purple button over here. That turns this on and breaks the floor. And then it shuts off and you fall through. And re-closes the hole. And you're on padding blocks so everything's fine. Uh, one thing we did set up with Mistcraft was a nexus. Which was pretty cool. Um... There's these books that are placed throughout the overworld so that you can travel to the Nexus. What is the Nexus, David? It's this wonderful rainbow place with everything's white and shiny and beautiful. And look at that refined glowstone. I just love what BDCraft did with that. All I did was make it blue. And there's light bridges that go between the platforms. Hey, hey, Nathan. What, what, Victoria? You know what's better than a rainbow? What? A double rainbow. Well, this is a circle rainbow. It goes around the entire freaking planet. So there. <laughs> so this one goes back to that orb we were in before. And Where are you? It goes to the bedrock mine. Don't worry. I'll be at the treehouse. So just meet me there. Okay. And there's one at the treehouse where I came from. There's another fortress one. There's one at the village. I want to show you the nether fortress one. It's heaven in hell. And this showcases the carpenter's blocks, the carpenter wedge slope. You can make them any texture you want. And you can use the hammer and chisel to change what sort of texture they have. I do, I have upgraded the textures to, you have a lot more options for the chisel in my mod pack than normal. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's beautiful stuff. And also Tinkerer's Mech Works is what that is right there those are the drawbridges from that so this is actually a drawbridge disguised as another brick so if i take this out it looks like a drawbridge so it retracts itself and displays itself pretty cool 
All right, I'm gonna head back to Victoria now through the Nexus. Hopefully I haven't lost too much texture, too many textures. Uh, my computer isn't all that awesome at the moment. Well, it is awesome, but not awesome enough apparently. So as you go through different parts of the world, different dimensions, you can actually lose textures that won't come back until you start up Minecraft over again. I've been Googling about that problem and nothing's turned up. So I, uh, if anyone hears this and understands that problem and knows how to fix it, I would love to hear your answer because look, this, it just got broke again. And that got broke again. It, it's irritating. I, I'd really like to, if anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. Either a comment or something else. All right, Victoria, what's next? Um, what should um, we do next? Um, I say portal mod. Yes. Portal mod. We're doing portal mod. Uh, for that, I would love to be in Shironahana, but we're not. I forget. Is there a tab for portal? Yes, there is. All right, so you have your portal gun of awesomeness. You can have a portal spawner. You have your long fall boots. I prefer the uh, jump boots because they allow you to jump and do what they these do. You can use your high energy pellet launcher. That's uh, if you remember from Portal One, it's it was replaced by lasers in Portal Two. Uh, they shoot pellets that hurt you and make you die. And you have sentry turrets, and you have oracle turrets, and you have defective turrets. You have portal gun pedestals, and you have aerial faith plates. If you guys know Portal, this is looking awesome to you at the moment and these actually work it's beautiful uh different. yes we shall spawn some of those uh sentry turret he spawns looking where you're looking hey victoria i'd like you to come get in front of this guy this is something i want to test because i know he won't shoot me because i spawned him victoria i'm at your house oh i'm at your house is anyone there yeah i think i hope you just heard him right then get in front of him Hello. Would you come over all right here? now Change to survival. Oh gosh. And be ready to change to creative again. Hello. Hit it again, hit it again. Searching. The the models on these guys Flat is just time. amazing. And then you have Hello. these I'm Oracle I'm different. He goes, I'm different. And if you get three of them together. Four. I'm different. I'm different. Four of them? Yeah. I'm different. Get mad. The answer no. is thanks they anyway. Thanks they need anyway. to be thanks in anyway. line, thanks don't anyway. they? I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. Come on, guys. There we go. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, the, it is moving. I can hear it. Back up. So that goes through the whole song, and uh, sorry we don't have time to show you today. And they even have music discs that play Thanks Still anyway. Alive, anyway. yes, and yes, they do. when I'm gone. Yeah. And the portals, the portals work. Once yeah. you're gone, sorry. Yeah, once you're gone. Uh, and they even play the little jazz version of Still Alive. That's not the jazz version. Yeah, that's the thing that plays. And you can press R to get rid of your portals. That took me a bit to figure out and remember. Well, as a musician, I say it's a jazz version. But call it whatever you want. We had the More Pistons mod. Woo! You can Google that one. Especially these gravitational pistons. Those are pretty cool. And the super pistons. I like them. So everyone had pistons that went farther than one block... This is your mod. Got Nether Wars, Redstone in Motion. Definitely Google this one. This is one of my favorites. Uh, if you remember, if you ever played Technic, how uh, Red Power had frames and frame motors, this is that, but a hundred times better and a lot more efficient, I believe. It's, it's just nice. Because I remember I built an airplane out of those things, and it wouldn't turn... It was annoying, uh, but this is so much better because you can literally just box out a region 
There's like a square region in space, and everything in that is now going to move. You don't need to make sure everything's touching a frame. It's wonderful. And we have Galacticraft. Galacticraft is awesome. It's one of the first mods I started out with. Uh, it is slow on updating, so this, it will take a while for the this one to get to 1.7.2 or 10. Mistcraft, Nether Ores, Pistons, Portal, Tinkerer's Construct. That's cool, and I'm actually utilizing that, and I want to show you guys something. In my... And Victoria, follow me. I'm going to the factory. Come along. Uh, the factory, you guys saw the outside part. You saw the windmills and all that. But you guys didn't see the basement. I've got some Natura Brightberry bushes. These are bright berries. You can, let me switch to survival mode. You can eat these and they will give you regeneration. As you can see in my top left of the screen, right, right over here, they give you regeneration. And if you eat too many of them, you'll get poisoned and withered. But they fill about half, either, either half, of, half or one of hunger. And they give you regeneration, so they're really useful. And then these things. These are ore berry bushes. Going you can around the ore, berry bush, bush, the ore berry bush, the ore berry bush, the ore berry bush. bush. So these are wonderful little inventions. Indeed. They give you a <coughs> renewable <coughs> owl. They hurt you. Worry they about give that. you a wonderful owl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're spiky. They're spiky. Don't touch them. They're like cactuses. But they won't actually destroy items, which is nice. I did not like that about cactuses. So basically, it's like a porcupine. It's spiky on the outside, but it's all lovable and sweet on the inside. Yeah. So you put the ore berries. Well, I currently have a system where they come out of here, and the tubes take them up. The tubes take them up, and I don't know if you can hear that right now. My furnace is now running. Ah, lag. Help me get up this thing. All right, so they're currently running in my furnace right now. They will turn into uh, nuggets which I have transporting over here to automatic crafting tables, which turn the nuggets into ingots. And the ingots get pulled out of here and then put into the chest. Uh -huh. See? Getting ingots. It's nice. A renewable source of metals. Hey. This was a triumph. <laughs> Okay. I had to. Okay. I had to. Sorry. Success. It's hard to overstate my <laughs> satisfaction. Amateur <laughs> science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us. Except, except the, the ones, ones who are dead. dead. But there's no <laughs> sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a neat plan For the people who are still alive <laughs> Okay, that was fun uh, I broke a block We gotta get, um, just <laughs> No, you didn't Everything's fine Oh Yeah, everything's fine um, so, Victoria, is there any last thing we can get to right at the end? Uh, there's Mine and Blade Battle Gear, which is cool. Uh, you can go ahead and put a pickaxe here and a sword here, and you can use, you can switch to two-handed mode, where you can use both hands at the same time. So that way, if you're mining and you hear something behind you, you can quick turn around and hit it with your sword. You don't have to switch which one you're on. You don't have to switch which thing you're at. Which spot in your hot bar language is nice. Hardcore Ender expansion. That's an awesome mod. This makes the end super freaking awesome. Definitely something you should Google. I don't have enough time to get into it. Um, but it is freaking awesome. Awesome. I love this mod. It makes the end totally useful. It's not just some place to go for the end of the game. This is some place you want to go and mine. Bibliocraft. Oh, the Railcraft. Railcraft's nice. Railcraft's nice. I'm pretty sure they've heard of that. Uh, Bibliocraft, this is nice for people who like to build houses. People who really like to decorate. I know I like to decorate. I'm going to build a house. Yeah. There's Jack. Um, 
so that's really nice, and they actually work. Uh, the good thing about Bibliocraft compared to other furniture mods is a lot of things actually perform a function like crafting table does. Um, tubes, Twilight Forest, Twilight Forest. I haven't used much of Twilight Forest yet, so I don't know much to say about Twilight Forest yet. Uh, so Google that definitely because I, I don't know much about it yet. Tinkerer's Mech works. We should do that. There's Railcraft. Natura, Artiface. Artiface, I got that. That's uh, chiseled marble. That's nice. Uh, it. A lot of the good things are the plants that spawn randomly. And that's useful for getting blue dyes instead of having to use up your other stuff. Victoria, are you putting me in a cage? Applied Energistics. That's really useful for... I guess I'll give you this information as I'm being entombed. <laughs> Uh, it's really useful for item sorting and for creating a... I don't know if you guys ever did this when with Technic. You could make a bedrock miner that would literally go. It would go horizontally. It worked like a buildcraft quarry, but horizontally. So that you could mine the bottom of the world in one direction forever. And it would do it automatically and transport all the inf all the stuff to your base. And I found this ME transition plane to work really nice. It works like the block breakers that were in Project Red. And you can use the ME, all that stuff, to set up a system to bring it to an ender chest, to bring all the items to an ender chest. It's really nice. It's pretty cool. Oh, thank you for uncovering me, Victoria. That's very nice of you. Biomes of Plenty. Props mod. That's another decoration mod. It's really useful. I like this mod. I haven't seen an update yet, so this, this could take a while. Just hit the delete key to pick up the block that you lost. Ender IO is really nice for energy transportation. I've seen is the one thing it does that none of the, other, none of the other mods do. Uh, this dimensional transceiver can transport energy across any distance through any dimension. And it works with uh, mechanisms pretty well. Uh, Natura, Vanilla Plus. All right, we're out of time. We'll get to the rest of it in the next one, hopefully. Hi, Victoria. You did break a block. Why do you got to go do that? Victoria. Oh, there's another problem that's going on. For some reason, if you just click, two blocks will break or more blocks will break because you're in creative mode. And... If anyone knows about what mod's doing that, what makes it break too quickly, I'd really like to know. So send me in the comment section or something else about what's doing that. I would really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Been nice watching the sunset with the slime trees on top of my house. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for giving us your time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.